Welcome to Unit 4, Lecture 2. In this lecture, it's going to be pretty short, but it's going to basically cover the differences between a few different types of cells. There are three main types of cells, prokaryotic cells, plant, and animal cells. So prokaryotic cells are simple cells. They fall into the class of bacteria or archaea. They still have a plasma and cell membrane because every single cell has a cell membrane. And then instead of a nucleus, they have what's called a nucleoid, and that's where their chromosome is. They also have ribosomes and cytoplasm. So there are four things that are in every single cell, whether you're talking about a prokaryotic cell, a eukaryotic cell, plant, or animal. Number one, a cell membrane. They have a cell membrane, number one. They have DNA or RNA. They have some sort of nucleic acid. So in the case of prokaryotic cells, they're in the nucleoid region. Number three, they have ribosomes. And number four, they all have cytoplasm. Now, um, so when it comes down to it, you end up having those four things are in every single cell. Okay. Ooh, sorry. All right. Now with prokaryotic cells, prokaryotic cells are bacterial cells that do a lot of invading. And so they can have these things, uh, they can have extra things. Um, they can have a capsule. And a capsule is basically just a coating on them. And capsules actually can make them more virulent because virulent means dangerous. They can make them more dangerous to us because that means our defense mechanisms, our stomach acid, um, our, our immune system cells can actually attack them. The pillus are used to attach, um, so that's a prokaryotic cell. It's pretty simple. All right. Now, eukaryotic cells, we have two classes of eukaryotic cells. We've got plant cells and we've got animal cells. And I'm not going to spend my time in this lecture going over everything that's in the cells, but the difference is here. So plant cells have a cell wall a chloroplast, a central vacuole, and plasmodesmata. Plasmodesmata is actually one of my favorite biology words to say, so I love it. Plasmodesmata. Okay, and then animal cells tend to have lysosomes, centrioles, and smaller vacuoles. So we still have vacuoles, but they're a lot smaller. So a eukaryotic cell is full of organelles. That's what makes it different than a prokaryotic cell. It's way more complex and there's way more things to it. Okay, so they have a bunch of different membranes in it. And unfortunately, for some reason, my um, mouse is not working to write. But you can see here in this picture, and you have a picture similar into your in your book, and you will have a cell labeling quiz. So I did post these pictures or similar pictures on my web page blackboard as well okay so you can see all of these different things all of these different little pieces or compartments and what these organelles do are they all have specific jobs so if you think about an organ like your stomach your stomach is an organ that has a specific job so your stomach digests food okay and so it does a job for your whole body so organelles are tiny things that do a job for the whole cell and so we're going to talk about these individual organelles but that's what sets eukaryotic cells apart from prokaryotic cells is all of these little pieces these little parts that do different things so in a prokaryotic cell it's basically doing the whole job of living together so everything that that cell needs to do is being done by the whole cell in eukaryotic cells all right, you know, the Golgi apparatus right here, number six, okay, is doing its job. Um, the mitochondria over here, which is number three, and you can see them, there are a couple in the cell picture, is doing its job. The chloroplast is doing its job, and we're going to talk about all of those. So this is an animal cell. Okay, so this is an animal cell, um, the one on the last page. I can go back. I don't think I can go back. But the other, the la the other picture was a plant cell. This is an animal cell. So here you see the centrioles, okay, um, peroxisomes, which we'll talk a little bit about. I do not see. Oh, there it is. Lysosome. Okay, so lysosome is number seven. Centriole number twelve. Peroxisome is number seven. 
Okay, and centrioles. Oh, I already said centrioles. All right, and then there's no cell wall here. Okay. So that was really easy and quick, really short. So your wrap up, create a chart, any kind of chart, some sort of visual representation. It can be a Venn diagram. It can be a table, whatever. Um, comparing prokaryotic cells, plant and animal cells. What's the same? What's different? All right, I will see you in class. Have a great day.